Hey everyone, Nick here. Well, this is unusual, me doing a review of a toku film instead of talking about things happening in the toku world. So I decided to review the latest toku special for my first ever review. No, not that one. Oh, heck no, that movie's horrible. You're getting closer. There you go. I'm reviewing the 1999th and 2000th episode of Super Sentai, aka Juoger vs. Gokaiger. And as a bonus for being my very first review, I also brought along a special guest. Is it Mark Asatsu? No. Is it Mr. Wee Productions? No, but getting there. Oh, oh, oh! The Statue Queen was finally responding to your emails? Sadly, no. But the special guest I have here is better than all three of those combined. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you my collab buddy, The Movie Critic! Hello guys, it's me to move quick here. I've used us so you don't have to. I was technically right. Like, Get out of here! Okay. So, movie critic, welcome to the review. How do you feel about doing this review with me? I feel great, I'm way to review. What is it that we were feeling again? Juoger versus Gokaiger. Joy! Joy. Alright, now that we got all that out of the way, let's get to it! This is Juoger versus Gokaiger. It's with you in time. We open in a treehouse with Yamato's uncle dressed up like a parrot. Just be glad it ain't his duo human form. Yeah, that's. A then Misado comes in and sees Yamato's uncle dressed like that, and recalls that he'd seen a parrot, aka Navi, in the sky earlier. As Finn pop up, meaning that there's a monster afoot. And then we cut to a monster, aka Bangway, with his hand on people's head. Basically, narcissism at its finest. He keeps on doing that till he comes across a bowl of curry and goes for a bite when he's stopped by Captain Freaking Marvelous! <laughs> Then the Juogers come in while Captain Marvelous is fighting Bongari and they morph. Roll intro! This is just getting weird. After the intro, the Juogers go into battle and, and Bongari steals Amu's memory of an old monster and runs away. Coward! They demorph and Marvelous explains why he is even here. This, is, this can just be summed up in two little words. More treasure! The Juogers decide to take Marvelous to the Link Cube because they think they can find more treasure there. The scene does cut to the feelings of the story, but to be honest, it is just filler. But then, Bangway brings back an old monster from uh, Moon's memory to defeat them. The monster he brings back is Dabutsu from episode 14, and Bangway sprays him with an invisibility spray, now available on Space Amazon for 1995. They find their way to the Link Cube, and Marvelous pulls out a champion symbol, and the Juogers fight him for the champion symbol, and they get it, and Marvelous calls Bull on the Juogers, saying that it doesn't belong to them. It doesn't belong to you either! This gets the Jumans to reveal their true forms, and... We are not amused! Then the symbol glows and plays a message from the founder of Julan, a whale named Sita's, and there we get the backstory is Julian and Jew a whale. And he gets killed off. Seriously, he only had a few minutes of screen time and he gets killed off. After that, Marmots wants to keep it, but the Jewelers won't let him. Then Bangway and Debotsu comes out of nowhere and then they fight for the champion simple. So let us get things straight for those of you people who weren't paying attention. The Juogers are fighting two monsters. While fighting a Sentai member. For champion a champion symbol. symbol. Then, then during this fight, Marvelous transforms into three Red Rangers. Gao Red, Geki Red, and a new f form for Gokaiger, Red Buster. This is a reference to Kamen Rider O's, as Kamen Rider O's had, had a combo that was cat-themed. And all three of these Red Rangers represent a cat. Gao Red representing a lion, Geki Red representing a, ch a tiger, and Red Buster representing a cheetah. 
which is actually a really nice reference. Then the scene cuts to Guy with the kid Tokyujers to ask for their powers, which they agree to. After that, they continue the fight, and Marvelous uses a wet hot key and flies away, and Yanto summons his eagle instinct, yeah, he went good well for a meanwhile time, to fly after him. Then Bangwe summons another old monster from Emu's memory and causes Miso to summon his mega sword and fight them, even though he was in a great depression. Yeah, that's a running gag that people keep having the show. It was funny the first time, but it's just overused right now. Then the other Juojer chased Bongari after defeating Dorbutsu and comes across t and comes across Joe, Luca, Don, and I'm with I don't know who Jack is. Movie critic, why do you make that typo in the script, dude? Seriously. What do you mean I put Zack in? Jacket. Oh, see this Second. Oh. Yep. What I meant to say, or what I meant to type was Navi. Stupid article. And they fight. They fight for a while, and the four Juogers. And the four Juogers best them, and the four Gokaijers use their new Ranger keys from Go Busters. Kroyuger, Tokyuger, and Ninninger. And they morph, and we get to see new sounds for the keys. It would be cool if it wasn't overlapped. Yes, they decided to overlap the new sounds for Go Busters, Tokyuger, Kroyuger, and Ninninger. I guess we have to wait for a new version of the Mobile Arts to get new sounds. Which will take forever. And we cut to Yamato and Marvelous in Sky Fight, and Yamato beats Marvelous a goes Aqua Ranger from Go Ranger, the very first Super Sentai, and fights Yamato from the 40th Super Sentai. Meanwhile, at the other fight, Guy comes across, comes out of nowhere with with a Ranger key chest and stops the fight and tells that the others that the Juogers are their Sentai successors. And we cut back to the Red Ranger fight with an insane plot twist. Yamato beats Marvelous, demorphing him. Until he tricks Yamato, demorphing him too. They both realize that they are no match for each other. And surprisingly, we are only 45 minutes into the special. Really? This all happened in 45 minutes? Yep. Meanwhile, the four Jew men, Joe, Luca, Don, Aim, and Navi, go to the Jewel Tree House. And they tell the Jewelers about the history of Super Sentai. No, thank you, that have always been settled in Super Dobatsu Tyson. And it's kind of nice we get to see the Argo Kaijus out of suit. But, for some strange reason, Miso and Guy are not with them. Why are they in a different place and not in the Jewel Tree House with the others? Hmm. I always found that strange. And Marvelous and Yamato settled out their differences and stopped fighting. And that's when Bongari pops up, quite literally right the heck out of nowhere, and fights Yamato and Marvelous. This is when the Jumin's tails slash fin pop up. Surprisingly, the go all the Gokaijers except for Marvelous were never amused by this. I guess he's seen Jumin's before. Anyway, Bongari summons past villains from Marvelous's memory, those being villains from Go Busters, Kroyuger, Tokyuger, Ninninger, and Gosager, which is stupid because half of those aren't even from Marvelous's memory. Oh, by the way, where's Basco? He should appear along with the others. I guess his actor didn't want to be in this, but they still have the suit, and the actor could have still done voice work. Anyway, the monsters blast them off the cliff into a quarry. It's a freaking quarry! There are rocks in it! Or they attacking the rocks? And the others come to them and they walk through the quarry, which is strange. And Marvelous gives the whale gun to Yamato and Bang Wayne's monsters pops out of nowhere. This really is Super Sentai. And the two teams morph and we get to see for the first time, Chew a whale! Fun fact, I accidentally called it a squid the first time I saw this. How can you confuse a whale for a squid? I was tired that day, okay? Okay, that actually makes sense.
They fight, they and, fight the and the Gokaijers, minus Marv with, instead of going through all their Gokai changes as possible, they go all wet. Is it, is it cute that, that the Gokaijers first and last Gokai changes were all wet? Yes, yes it is. Does it excuse the fact that we don't see how the Gokaijers would look like in the post-Sentai suits except in the updated Superhero Getter? What do you freaking think? They then finish off the four monsters with their attacks, and Yamato finishes off the last two with a very special attack that is quite literally out of this world. And that's it! The two teams celebrate until Bongri pulls a monster right out of Guy's memory, which is a recolor of a monster called Gokudas Boy, and they summon Wild Tosai King, and the Gokaijers join them in the cockpit. Despite still having the Gokai Galleon. Wait, they still have it? Just wait till the end. The Gokaijers actually use the Wanger Keys of Denjamin and Liveman to summon special attacks from those teams. And they use a very special mecha attack that uses all 40 Super Sentai Grand Powers. With a clever Easter egg that referenced the 2000th episode of Super Sentai to destroy the Reboot Girls Guild. And the Gokai just leave. They leave because there is no more treasure and they had already given back the keys, which doesn't make sense because in Superhero Tyson, they still have the keys, even though all 34 Sentai teams still had their powers. They say goodbye, hop into the Gokai Galleon, and Dom thinks they forgot something, but they just ignore it and go home. But the thing is, they actually forgot Navi. Navi was back at the Jewel Treehouse waiting and Yato's uncle seeing her and wants to keep her for studies. Then Navi says that her fate will be revealed in the 3000th episode of Super Sentai. Which would take a while and if or not Super Sentai gets cancelled. Speaking of Super Sentai, let's turn the keys. Bros, more new Ranger keys. The Gokaijers return. And move the paw walk in the Jewelger's timeline. Cons. The Morpher key sounds were overlapped. Bosco, a really good villain, doesn't return. And some plot devices from Gokaiger don't return. Wait, like for example, the Gokai Galleon Buster, the Gokai O, they don't return. It was a good special that took a dive. Because this crossover gets 4.5 keys out of 5. I think that'll do it for this review. Yeah, it was a good special to a few, and I love how the Gokai just returned one more time. It totally makes me forget about Super Met. You know what? I'm not going to finish that sentence. So, Movie Critic, thanks for helping me with this review. You're welcome. We should do this again, but with more people. Like Marco Satsu? He hadn't accepted my script for everything while Jojo vs. Gokai yet, but yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Sure thing. Uh, thanks you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Now, what are we reviewing next? Aw oh, man, what did we get ourselves into?